All right, we already have our e-commerce base ready, but it's not running it and there are a few issues like a client component, uh, errors, missing imports, and incomplete styling setup. So in this video, we'll use a test sprite to automatically detect and fix all of them and end up with a fully working professional e-commerce site, okay? And if you do not have a project, you don't need to worry. I'll provide you a GitHub link, GitHub repo in the description, and you can just clone the project and use it for now, okay? and it is completely free so now uh, after you have uh, cloned the project what you will need to do is we'll need to install all the dependencies that will require to run your project so first of all do a npm install and install the dependencies and then what we'll do is let's run our project and see what's broken we can clearly see that the use state error error in the page.tsx file and missing component imports and tailwind isn't configured as well so instead of manually fixing each one so let's hand this over to the test sprite okay so test sprite is a ai powered platform that automates the entire software testing lifecycle from generating test plans to executing test plans and analyzing the result with a minimal developer input okay so and it can be used integrated in a different editors ai powered editors like cursor tray and uh, cloudy and visual studio code so without wasting time let's start by signing in in the test sprite okay so just click onto the sign in option go to and then click to the dashboard and this is the dashboard that you have over here and if you see on the left side of the menu bar you can see there's a one month free trial as well just click on the try for free and if you see over here there's a starter pack for the one month free that is completely zero dollar for one month and only you have to pay it from the second month okay you can just upgrade to the first starter pack now click to the mcp test and if you see over here there's a quick install that says fast setup to view for the view and the full installation okay so click on the quick install and once you see over there you have a create an api key so we'll look after that in next okay so first of all come to the second part that is install mcp setting we have a cursor we have a cloud code and we have our other ids as well so today we'll be using a cursor and then click on the cursor and click on the add to the cursor what you'll see is it will open the cursor and it will take you to the setting and you can see over here there's an installing an mcp server will uh, execute commands and this is the command and you need to apply the environmental variables there's api key okay variables just come back to the test sprite and there's a create a key just click on the create a key then after just click on the new api key then let's name it ai commerce okay and then let's click on the create and once you have just created there's an api key and you can see uh, if you forget to uh, like copy it and close it then you will not be able to copy the API so click on the copy and just close okay once you have copied and come back and then click on the over here and then click on the install so once you have installed so it will automatically get and these are all the agents that we will be using in this project okay and if you do not see a green tick in the uh, left side then you just need to turn it on and off turn it off and on again okay so now coming back to the cursor just open the uh, chat and then you need a prompt a cursor id so to get this prompt we will need to go back to the test sprite and if you see over here there's a start testing with a test sprite so hey help me with to test this project with the test sprite so you can already see over there there is a prompt given here you just need to copy and click on the got it and then come back to the cursor id and just paste it on the top and then press the enter so it will do a work by itself okay you just need to wait just click on the open and it will open a new page for you so here's our back end and front end part okay so for the back end and for the front end and on the below we have also a scope that is that means a code base and a code difference so code base is for the whole project and code difference is for a particular code okay and then we also have an authentication you can put a user and passport as well so i'll keep it in a none and then coming down to the local development port so you will have a local host of the 3000 so let's check come back to the cursor ide and if you haven't run just uh, run the server like an npm run dev so it will start the dev server and then click on the enter and then yeah so it has start our server if you haven't started it okay 
So once it's done, come down over the product specification doc. And if you do not find this product specification doc, okay, so I'll provide you in the same GitHub link. Okay, so you can see in the same GitHub repo as well and just click on the continue. And then it will come back again to your cursor ID. So it will again start your uh, process, okay. So once it's done, so it will start ask for a run and you just need to press and enter and enter and enter and it will automatically fix and detect all your bugs in this project okay and also test part will create a test like uh, you can see over here it has created an ai commerce that has a backend testing for a backend and all the test has been failed because uh, none of the um, test passed in this test right okay so we need to fix this test and we need to fix this failure so to fix this failure what we'll do over here is so it has shown that at the uh, directive of the use client on this page the tsx so we will not change it uh, we'll use the ai to change that we'll use the test right as in to change for it so what we'll write over here is fix the failure of the backend okay and now what it will do over here is it will fix everything by its own using a test sprite okay test sprite as in and if you can see over here the red parts are the one it will remove and green parts are the one it will add okay so it will just click onto the keep all and it will change everything in this base.tsx file okay so what it will do is it will uh, remove the box and detect the box and put the only necessary parts that is required so when you come back to the uh, e-commerce site you can see that it is very clean and if you see over here it has created another test as well that is for the backend and around three of the nine tests has been passed which means it was zero out of nine and it is now three out of nine which, uh, the test is working well and the test sprite is detecting bugs and fixing by itself okay so you can see over here uh, the past test you can easily see the description over here and if you check for the another past test let's click on the air commerce and you can just check for the another passes let's check for the navigation button routing and you can see over here there's a description given and there's a code given how it pass okay and now let's check for the one that has failed the test okay so let's check for the uh, second one add product to the card functionality so why it fails it has also given us an error okay that is a trace pack most recent call on the last and everything is given over here why it fails and why is it not working so you can watch over here and uh, detect and debug it by yourself as well okay so coming back to the site you can easily see the this is our site and it has made some changes in our site so click on the run okay and then what it will do is it will create multiple test and multiple uh, files to make it correct and make your e-commerce site fully workable and expert okay so what i'll do here is detect the tailwind css in configured properly using the test part so the tailwind css is also not properly configured in this project so it will so i'm asking the test part to configure the tailwind css and work the tailwind css as well okay so if you can see it has created a design page it has added an api page and many more okay so just click on to the run okay and then what it'll do is it will create a multiple steps it will need a multiple steps to detect and debug everything and to create a beautiful e-commerce site So it has just asked me, so do you want to set it up? Okay, so as I just clicked yes, so set it up, uh, okay. And then click onto the run. And once it's done, so it will, so okay, so it will stop by itself. So what it'll do is it test byte will analyze the repo and it, it identifies the missing use client directive, fixes the import and generates a complete tailwind setup. Eh? And in just a few seconds, so it patches everything automatically. 
so let's run the project again and see okay and and let's see let's go through the home pages with the product cards and emails so everything is working the search bar is working i think okay and home page with the product card and image so yeah and i think and the add to the cart and remove functionality is working the, i think and then the checkout page and about and contact page all working together smoothly and i'll try adding items to the cart total updates in real time it will remove and items instantly reflect and navigate to the checkout order summary is displayed so this shows how an ai tool like testwrite can handle full workflow automation from debugging to final deployment ready product and that's it a few broken files to a complete production ready e-commerce site all fixed automatically by a test sprite and the AI caught missing configs, missing use client, directly broken import and handled everything right inside this IDE. So it had now we have a functional store with a 20 plus product, working card, checkout product page, fully responsive design and a tested and debugged by AI. So this is what end-to-end -end AI development truly looks like and from idea to live app in one continuous workflow. So if you want to try it yourself, check the GitHub repo and test write links in the description and let the AI handle your test and bug. So thanks for watching guys and remember, it's not always about coding faster, but it's about building smarter with AI.